moms and friends. I know that it's Saturday and it's late morning and not late night. But I missed Thursday and I missed you guys, so I'm going to bring you another little short live. It's going to be more self-promotion yeah, than, um, than helpful tidbits. But as a friend was telling me, I tell you guys all the stuff I like. And I tend to leave out the stuff I like about things that I do. So I'm going to share with you guys a little bit today. I hope that's okay. I'm shooting from my phone. Phone. I hate shooting with my phone because it pauses and I can't see some of your comments and everything's backwards. It drives me crazy. So um, I might just go a little bit weird on this one more than normal. <laughs> so here's my news and you probably already read it. But I just wanted to tell you guys more face to face or face to screen or whatever that my second novel is coming out Monday. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> and I wanted to let you know that it's available on Kindle right now for pre-order on sale. I think it's two ninety nine on Kindle right now, and that price will go up sometime next week, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. There, it's not going to stay that price for very long. And then the paperback comes out on Monday and you're not or, or not really able to purchase that until Monday. I wish you were able to pre-order it. Anyway, if you know anything about my author life at all, I've written now three books um, come Monday. The first book I've written, uh, I wrote was called Diary of a Dyslexic Homeschooler and it's a short story in prose to kind of help myself understand what it would be like to be in the shoes of a, a homeschooler who was going through discovering they had dyslexia. And it's not very, I, I'd say it's not very educational as far as um, this is what you do when things happen. It's more, this is how it feels when things happen and helping people see that the kid is still a kid and all the testing and stuff and how that feels. So that was my first book and that came out over a year ago. Um, and then my second book was this one and it's gonna be all backwards and I hate it. And and that was uh, another cliche Christmas and it's a cozy mystery. And I get this question all the time. I grew up with cozy mysteries so I knew what they were, but a cozy mystery is different than like a mystery suspense or thriller because a cozy mystery takes place in usually a small town with the same group of people and it contains less gore, less cursing, and less uh, scenes of intimacy. Like little to none. And um, another cliche Christmas was my first one and that came out this last August. And so my second one that's releasing is this one and a little black bar on it says that it's a um a promo a promotional copy and it's not for sale but that's basically what the cover is going to look like and it's called lethal and lavender and it happens in the same small town with the same ladies um doing the same crazy stuff and i wrote these cozies because i've grown up on mysteries my my mother would watch um I don't know. Let me let me list a couple things like Remington Steel, uh, Diagnosis Murder was there for a while. Perry Mason. What's the one with Dick Van Dyke? No, that was Diagnosis Murder. There was another one where Andy Griffith was a lawyer. Biscuits. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, we would watch those like during lunch with her in the summertime or if we got out of school early on a half day, that's what we'd watch while we're eating our sandwiches and chips and uh, fruit or whatever. And so I was raised on those. And then she also really liked Alfred Hitchcock movies and movies like that. And I grew up on those. They weren't gory. They were scary. They were suspenseful. But um, they didn't contain any of the stuff that would make me go, you know, as a kid or anything like that. And so I know this genre really well. I grew up in it. That's why I like to write it. Um, it won't be the only genre I ever write. There are some things in my heart waiting to come out. But for now, it's these honeypot mysteries. 
Mysteries. And they're all about these three homeschool mamas who solve mysteries as they're homeschooling their children, as they're going through life, you know, um, as a Christian homeschooler involved in their church and stuff, it tends to happen that people just assume because you're home, you're free. <laughs> and you try to meet the needs of your church and people around you. So you find yourself constantly busy and constantly going. And that's no different um, for us than it is for my heroines in my Honey Pot series. So I'm going to just do a little plug. I really hate doing this, but I do love my books. I won't say they're up there with the books that I review because the books that I review are amazing and fantastic, but I do love my books and I really enjoy writing them and I really hope you guys enjoy reading them. So I'm going to ask you to do two things. If you're interested at all, head over to Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com or wherever you buy books and look for one of my books, Diary of a, Diary of a Dyslexic Homeschooler, or my Monday Legal Lavender, which is only available on pre-order right now on Kindle. On Amazon. If you've already read one of my books and it was tolerable, or you liked it, please shoot on over to the same places, Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, and leave a review. Reviews move book sales. They help people find the book. They help platforms like Amazon and whatever. After a certain number of reviews, your book will pop up among the first couple books when put in a search. Mine are Christian Cozies. So if somebody put in Christian Cozies, they're going to come. I've done this. There's pages and pages of Christ Christian Cozies. Mine has not yet made the first two pages. Reviews and sales help that happen. But reviews don't have to be crazy elaborate. They can be a star rating. And again, I would love a five star rating, but I want you to be honest because this is what I'm about. Um, but it could be something as simple as just bought this book. So excited. Um, and maybe you finish reading it and you forget all about it after that. Boop, you can do that right after you ordered the book. Just bought this book. So excited to get it. It doesn't have to be this huge elaborate review. But I would love it. And I would love to know what you guys think of my peoples in my books. They're homeschoolers like me. They're homeschoolers like some of you guys. They're moms. They're crazy. They're middle-aged. And they're caffeine dependent. At least two of them are. All right, guys. Thanks for putting up with me. I totally missed you guys on Thursday. I'm hoping this next week... If life can just give me some little corners of space, I'm hoping we need a few extra special things because my book is releasing. I'll still be there with the verse of the week, and I'm hoping to be there Thursday with what with what we normally talk about. But you might get a free a few little other videos in there that aren't related to what we normally talk about, just because I'm excited to make your tax week a little bit brighter by releasing my new book. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Bye.